All right, thank you very much for the update. We'll cross back to you later. Melanie Davies joining us there from Melbourne's Federation Square. <laughs> Amanda Hart, 10 News. Well, you are watching a special edition of 10 News as we cover the Queen's visit to Melbourne. The Queen is en route to Federation Square right now. These are live pictures. We are waiting Her Majesty's arrival and we'll be live there in just a moment. Stay with us in this special edition. Dogs get into all kinds of mischief. Well, welcome back to this special edition of 10 News covering the Queen's visit to Melbourne. Let's go now to some live pictures from Federation Square in the city where crowds will soon get a chance to see the royal visitors. And as we can see there, there are thousands of people. Let's join once again uh, our royal commentator, Jai. Thanks so much once again for oh, joining absolutely. us. The crowds are incredible. And as we said before, look at the demographics. That's right. Babies so and people. elderly. <laughs> well, babies uh, certainly are probably amongst the crowd, but the young support is overwhelming. I mean, look at it, we see that these institutions are so tied together, the, the uh, crown, the flag, and uh, there's such support for it. Now, of course, we're waiting for the, Her Majesty to arrive. Uh, the Queen arrived in Melbourne just after 11 o'clock this morning after a whirlwind visit to Canberra. Mm -hmm. Now, you had the chance to meet Her Majesty. I did. It was an absolute uh, privilege to be able to do so. Um, I did have to um, watch that I wasn't knocked over by Republicans trying to get to the front <laughs> to meet her whilst I was there. But uh, <laughs> I, I did have my uh, moment, alas, uh, brief to, to uh, briefly meet her. And uh, the thing that really... Uh, proved to be true to me was someone said, and, and this eventuated, that when you do meet the Queen, even though she's met 700 other people in the room, for that moment that she's speaking to you, her attention was focused on what you had to say. And uh, I, I found that to be true. She's very engaging. She was, absolutely. Now, these are the pictures uh, we just saw a couple of moments ago of Her Majesty arriving in a bright pink outfit to Melbourne. Of course, she headed straight to the Royal Children's Hospital, which she also officially opened in 1963. Mm -hmm. And in regards to her schedule for the rest of today, going to Federation Square, having the opportunity to meet thousands of locals there mm -hmm. for a meet and greet. And yeah. then we'll take a special tram ride. Well, that, that, I mean, that should be house. special, won't it? I mean, uh, for her to be able to see something so symbolic of Melbourne uh, and be exposed to that will be uh, good for her as well. We are waiting for Her Majesty to arrive at Feder Federation Square, but while we do, let's move along to our next story that we have in this coverage this afternoon. And authorities in Melbourne will be breathing certainly a sigh of relief after anti-wealth demonstrators agreed to delay their controversial protest. There were fears the Occupy Melbourne group would Dis disrupt today's royal visit. The Premier lays the blame on protesters for Friday's scenes. And they indicated that they would move on, they were asked to move on, they were warned, they chose not to move on. Now members of Occupy Melbourne are planning their next step. In a statement of defiance, the group gathered at the State Library to vote on their course of action. Well, we've decided as a collective that there's no consensus to, uh, for actually using this, the Queen's visit as a stage for any protest movement. Instead, they'll again take to Melbourne streets on Saturday to march from the State Library to Treasury Gardens where they plan another occupation. But I'm here to say, hey, we have a voice, we have free speech. And that's, that's why I'm here. At last night's meeting, protesters repeated claims they'd been attacked by police. Force Command condemning a move by the group to single out one officer on this poster. Police, however, pleased that the group will no longer threaten to overshadow today's royal visit. There were a number of proposals regarding direct action uh, involving the Queen. None of them passed. Eleanor Quirk, 10 News. And Her Majesty's visit is certainly being hailed a huge success for the monarchy. But what will happen to all the flowers given to Her Majesty? We went to find out. The 85-year-old monarch was showered with flowers as she walked through South Bank. Those who brought blooms can rest assured they've gone to a deserving home. Do you know the Queen has touched all of those flowers? Is that right? Isn't that amazing? I think they're, they're beautiful and I feel very privileged that the Queen passed them on to us. Residents at Parkview Aged Care Facility watched the Queen's visit on television. They were thrilled when Her Majesty's flowers arrived at their doorstep. I think it's the nearest I've ever been to the Queen. As it's such a 
warmth, you know, it's the relationship. Much to the delight of the 145 residents here, their home now resembles a bit of a florist, with flowers filling all their rooms and the dining halls. Many have gone to see the royal couple on their previous visits to Queensland. And I looked around and that like, and I thought to myself, gee, I wish she would have been here. Tegan George, 10 News. It's about lovely to know that they're going to a good cause. Absolutely, isn't it touching? All right, OK, Joe. we'll see you in just a moment. And we are just moments away from the Queen arriving in Federation Square. We'll see you again in just a moment. These are live pictures. Welcome back. Well, Queen Elizabeth and the Duke of Edinburgh are making their way through Melbourne's Federation Square. Our Royal Correspondent Amanda Hart is there with all the action. Good afternoon, Amanda. The place must be buzzing. Gosh, look at the crowd behind you. Tash, the anticipation is certainly growing. Now, we've just heard a couple of moments ago that the Queen and the Duke have actually arrived. At the moment, they should be in the Ian Potter building just behind us. They're going to be looking at some Indigenous art in there before stepping onto the red carpet. Now, we have heard unconfirmed reports, though, that three people have collapsed while waiting for her. We'll get back to you when we've got more detail on that, though. But the rest of the crowd, I've got to say, it does rival what we saw in Brisbane two days ago. People are dressed up, Australian flags, Flags, British flags. One man I was chatting to, he's 92 years old today and he's hoping to meet the Queen on his birthday. And another gentleman, he actually brought his pet rabbit down just in the hope that this bunny might put a smile on the Queen's face. Let's have a listen to some reaction from earlier today. I would love to see what she's wearing because I'm a bit of a fashionista myself. Um, I'm very excited to see what colour she's wearing. We've made a beautiful poster to give to her. Lovely. And what are you going to say to it when you meet it? We'll probably just say how what an honour it is to meet her and how excited we've been to meet her. Uh, exciting. Very exciting. Yeah, we've been here since like 7.30 in the morning, so we're hoping we see her close up. Uh, well, we came in about 5.30 this morning, um, got all dressed up. We've had a picnic, we've packed it up now, but um, coffee, tea, scones, muffins. Crockery. Crockery. Uh, yes, we've had the fine china out. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's been a really exciting day. And why have you done all this? Oh, it's just it's a momentous occasion. You know, it'll be fantastic to even just get away from her. Some guests have even had the royal china out. Now, Amanda, how is the rest of the afternoon shaping up for the royal couple? Well, Tash, once they arrive here, they're going to walk the couple of hundred metres down the red carpet to the bottom of Federation Square, or the mall there. Then they're going to be getting onto a tram and they're going to be cruising down St Kilda Road there and get off at Government House. There's going to be a state reception for them there. And then they're back on the plane, jetting off over to Perth, where the Queen will officially open the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. So that's their fairly busy agenda today. Absolutely. We'll cross back to you later. Thank you so much, Amanda Hart, joining us there with the latest information from Federation Square.